Good morning. I'm Susan Enfield. I'm the proud superintendent for Highline Public Schools located just south of Seattle, Washington. And we are a richly diverse school system serving just under 19,000 students um, speaking over 100 different languages. We're here today to talk about the need for creating a high quality and diverse principal leadership pipeline, but really a model that we're flipping from being university based to being school district based in partnership with a local university and our partnership with Teach for America. So before we get going, I'm going to ground you in um, the fact that in Highline, rather than a mission or vision, we have a promise. And that promise is to make sure that every student is known by name, strength, and need, so they graduate prepared for the future they choose, not a future that someone else chooses for them. Um, but to deliver on this promise is something Something we cannot do alone. We have to do it in partnership and we have to do it with the very best, highest quality, talented workforce we can find. And doing it the traditional way isn't going to get us what our students need and deserve. And so, thank you Dr. Enfield. Uh, my name is Dr. Tony Bird. I am the Executive Director at Teach for America Washington. I'm going to talk to you briefly about the problem, the partnership and the flip. The flip's exciting. So the problem is that we have ambitious and reliable student learning that depends on diverse principals who have great skills to lead teachers and teams of teachers to improve instruction, especially in environments where opportunity gaps are large. Unfortunately, the cultivation and development of those leaders is sorely lacking in most district systems. This partnership that Dr. Enfield outlined briefly is three organizations with very similar values. Highline Public Schools, Teach for America, and the University of Washington at Bothell. Highline Public Schools is an organization south of Seattle who has dramatically increased the number of new teachers of color in the last four years from 11 to 40%. Teach for America this year alone recruited 57,000 applicants, of whom 50% are people of color. And the University of Washington Bothell's Good Lad Institute is very experienced in innovation and teacher preparation and principal preparation. This model, however, is a complete flip, and it is not innovative to actually locate a university in the system. The flip is actually to turn the locus of control of the training of our principals to the district with the university as a partner. So we go from local control from formerly what was di uh, university control to local control of training to district control, excuse me, district control. We are also, in terms of teacher recruitment and candidate recruitment, it moves from traditional candidate recruitment to partnering with Teach for America to bring in a very diverse group of people into the, into the program. Lastly, I'll say the learning primarily has been at the university setting, and this model of the learning is actually in context. I'll turn it over to Dr. Grubb who will explain it in more detail. Thank you. Building on what Tony has described, I'd like to share in more detail elements of the program design, including its architecture, approach to adult learning, and partnerships. First, at the core of the program architecture is a conceptual framework that assumes leadership is a function of what one learns through accomplishments, not just seat time. These accomplishments cluster in four areas, leadership of self, leadership of others, leadership of the system, and leadership of instructional practice. We've brought these four ideas together in a leadership capabilities framework. While traditional principal preparation programs privilege university-based credit generating seat time learning, this model embeds professional learning in the context of actual leadership practice within a school or district. Second, the program design assumes a, a theory of adult learning that is based on a series of just right developmental leadership challenges which emerge from leadership assessment of the candidates. Opportunities to learn from these challenges are formalized through learning communities, seminars, supervisor feedback, and reflective documentation. Third, the program design assumes partnerships among the school district, a leader development organization, Teach for America, and higher education. The school and the district provide the leadership context. TFA provides a pool of high quality diverse candidates and the higher ed partner brokers the details of certification and licensure within the state. 
The higher ed partner also assists with startup and transition, evaluation of program effectiveness, and our data system support. In summary, this project flips the traditional model of principal preparation by placing the learner and the school district rather than the university at the center. And with that, we'll just close on the fact that no promise, no plan, no strategy will ever help us deliver on creating truly equitable school systems for our children unless we have the right people in our schools serving them. And we believe that this model has great promise to um, continue to strengthen the leadership base that we are very proud to have in Highline Public Schools. Thank you.